Dear Chris, over the past seven years, I have had the pleasure of watching you grow into an incredible football player. But more importantly, I've seen you grow into an amazing person. Dear Chris, I am so happy to have you as my friend. Dear Chris, ever since we were kids, you have been taking care of me, from being ride buddies at Disney, to the movies, to walking trails. Dear Chris, I wanted to make sure I took the time to thank you for encouraging and providing me with hope. Dear Chris, at a time when it is easy for celebrities, athletes, and influencers that are in the public eye to be focused on themselves, how people view them, and how they can boost their own following, you have always used your platform to focus on the most marginalized in society. From the start, you have naturally had a heart driven towards service. I watched you selflessly give time to those around you so that they always felt special and loved. And now, you have been able to use your platform to make an even greater impact. With your hard work, dedication, and your kind heart, you have affected many people's lives, from helping many teachers supply materials for their classrooms, to making a special practice for your local Flowery Branch High School football team. It's funny that we met through an organization named Best Buddies because we really are best buddies. You were so kind and thoughtful. You took the time to ask me about my cancer journey and you truly cared. You will never know how much this means to the millions of individuals and families you have impacted. I have watched you impact the city of Atlanta and beyond. Whether it be taking your best buddy Michael to mini golf in Chipotle or supplying the families of the Ronald McDonald House with a night of fun and good food. People may not know what a kind person you are because you are so tough on the football field. I know you are a great friend. Thank you, Chris. You being a Best Buddy Ambassador means a lot to me as you are helping others with the same disabilities and struggles as me. Also to helping women with cancer who struggled and continue their fight just like mom did. In closing, Chris, thank you for making a difference in my life. And I'll explain why. Last Tuesday, my oncologist told us that I was cancer free. Any treatment moving forward would merely be precautionary measures. You can imagine how happy we all were. Thanks for being a champion of inclusion for our buddies all over the world. In gratitude and friendship, Anthony Kennedy Shriver. We are all so very proud of you. Keep being you. Love, Madison. You are the best and best buddies. Your friend, Michael. Thank you for being a very humble, caring, and kind person. One who sees the need and acts. The world is a better place because of this gentle giant. God bless. Know that you and Madison will forever be in my prayers. Mary. But the Chris I just described is the same Chris I knew as a kid. This is why you are being named the 2022 Atlanta Falcons Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee. I didn't know I was going to cry. <laughs> It's an incredible honor. It's so touching, and I don't think there's anything more personal than a, a letter, but then hearing it in somebody's voice um, in all the different ways of how they actually, you know, the different events and how it meant to them. Um, it just means the world, and it's just glad that, um, that the work that we do uh, has, has impact, and so look forward to continuing to do that.